wanted to ask you about two aspects of Kaminga's night tonight. First, oh, you know, you put him on DeRozan. Uh, what did you think of him on DeRozan? Other than the first uh, pump fake that he bit on, um, did a great job. DeRozan's the kind of guy you just have to make uh, earn his points, and um, he's going he's going to score just because of you know talented he is. You just want to make it as inefficient as possible, and I thought uh, Jonathan did that. He he stayed on him. He didn't. Uh, he didn't bite on the fakes um, after the first one. DeRozan made a couple jumpers over the top, but um, all in all, I thought he did a really good job. Then the other thing, uh, in the fourth, you had him up top with the ball, stuff setting screens. What do you like, you know, especially, you know, looking into the future potentially with him, what do you like about that type of action? Well, I think one of Jonathan's uh, strengths uh, as a rookie is his passing ability. Um, you know, you saw it in in the summer league and, and uh, we we saw it in training camp before he got hurt. Um, he's got a good knack for uh, for driving and, and kicking, finding shooters. And um, so we decided to go to that action just to see if we, we could get him into some space. And he got into space, made some some really nice plays and uh, you know, got downhill a couple of times, you know, got to the rim and hammered home dunks. It was uh, really exciting. He He's really earned uh, the minutes he's getting, you know, he, he had a great scrimmage yesterday um, in our, our four on four that we played with the young guys. Uh, his, his attitude, his approach over the last week, um, you, you know, you, you have to remember he missed three weeks. So it was, he basically missed most of camp. And, and so he was swimming upstream a little bit. And I think over the last week, he's made huge strides and we wanted to reward him. Is, do you feel like that? like it could be minutes in the next few games or is it still kind of outside looking in a little bit he as long as he uh goes out there and um, runs the floor and plays defense and um takes care of the ball and passes like he's like he did tonight um we're going to continue to give him opportunities you know he's uh but it's it'll be a day-to-day, week-to-week thing, depending on how he's doing, depending on the health of our team. Um, you know, we we need him to develop, um, and we want to do it in a healthy way. Uh, if that means there's a night where he goes to Santa Cruz and plays 35 minutes to get extra time, um, I think that's still a possibility. Um, that's always a possibility. And in the meantime, he's just got to keep doing what he's doing. He's really made a lot of strides in the last week. Uh, I think for the past couple times, uh, I've been trying to get back on where am I supp- where I'm, su- I'm supposed to be. Uh, just trying to learn as much as I can. No offense, defense, most uh, most of the part of defense. Uh, and I think just past the time I've been working now and staff with the team, and just trying to get more comfortable. Uh, that's when I knew as long as I'm still playing the same way I'm playing hard and just running up, running the, running the court and staying ready, I knew it was going to be ready for that. Steve said you had a good scrimmage yesterday, and he said he, he thought he's seen some improvements from you the past week. What has helped you kind of get a bit more uh, Like I said, uh, it was pretty much just knowing my role, uh, knowing what I need to do to be in that court uh, and playing as uh, hard as much as I can. Jonathan, how good did the dunks feel? Uh, it feel great. Uh, I'll say it's my first dink as an NBA player, so uh, they feel good. And so when you're on a breakaway by yourself and you have the ball, what are you thinking about or what or what are you not thinking about? I mean, where's your head as you approach the basket? What's in your mind? I don't know. Uh, I'll say just trying to score, uh, trying to get the easy one that I can, but as long as it's still getting comfortable, I think I might have more options. What was it like guarding DeRozan? Uh, it was the biggest challenge, and that's what I'm saying. You got, uh, for me to play in this game, I have to know my position and what do I really need to do for me to stay on the court. And so I think the challenge was me to go out there and guard DeRozan. Uh, he's a tough player at the end of the day, but I think I did great, uh, especially as a rookie coming to the league throwing you out there, first time playing a lot of minutes, and just go guard one of the best players on that team. So it was a little challenging. He got you with that pump fake that first time? Uh, 
if I was in my 10th years, I don't think I was going to get that far. But since I'm a rookie, it's way easier to get. Hey, Jonathan, as you uh, go between Santa Cruz and San Francisco and, you know, the G League, how do you approach those games differently, knowing you're going to be a role player here and, and maybe pick up big minutes in the G League? Man, uh, I think going to the G League was a great idea. Uh, it helps me gain more comfortable uh, every base of my game. Uh, help me get better, uh, get better shape and just learn all the plays because they, they run the same plays here in, in Santa Cruz. So it was just going out there, get as many rips as I can, just get more comfortable. They had Steph set a few high screens for you in the fourth, or where Steph is your screener. Why do you think that action seems to work so well? Uh, I think, uh, you know, every time Steph make any move, uh, most of the teams, will, they always want to bet him. So, I think just him saying that screen, he opens it up everything because they're all going to try to go to him because they know at the end of the day, the ball got to go back to Steph. So that just opens up everything. What's your general level of comfort right now after, after missing a couple of weeks to start? I will say, like I said, just knowing what I need to do. Uh, uh, it's not so many things that I... I can't think I'm going to do, but like just stay uh, consistent on the little stuff that the teams want me to do. Steve, had you set a couple of high screens for Kaminga in the fourth? One of them, you know, he got downhill scored on. Do you find yourself thinking, like, well, this could be a tool to use the next few years? For sure, I think. Getting him reps just out there, uh, no matter really what the lineup is, but giving him opportunities to showcase you know, his athleticism, his skill set. He made a pass to uh, Moody in the corner down the stretch of the game that shows like his capability of being a, a downhill threat, but also having options and getting you know, you know, guys open looks. So. Hopefully, keep you know you know have opportunities to keep showcasing that and understand what that pace and rhythm and field you know is really like out there on the floor with you know the normal rotation guys.